Farming and ranching in the beautiful Klamath Basin are incredibly demanding occupations. Farmers invest thousands of dollars in seed and then hope that there will be sufficient water and good enough weather to ensure a bountiful return on their investment. Jerry Enman and the Klamath Irrigation District acknowledge they can do little about the weather, but they invest time and energy guaranteeing that the growers and ranchers get the water they need for a successful and profitable season. KIB Klamath Irrigation District provides irrigation water to roughly 40,000 acres of Klamath Irrigation District patrons and also some other irrigation districts who contract with Klamath Irrigation District and rely on us to provide their water. We operate all of the facilities, the ditches, canals, and stuff that, that actually physically get the water there. The Klamath Irrigation District relies heavily on Jerry's mentorship, candid feedback, and grounded advice based on years of experience. If the KID office gets a phone call from someone in my zone with a particular question, they might just give that person my phone number and say, hey, talk to Jerry about this. In the early 1900s, the United States Bureau of Reclamation began building a water management project to supply farmers with irrigation water in the Klamath Basin. Jerry, along with the rest of the Klamath Irrigation District Board, oversees the water management project. We don't own the irrigation works outright, so we coordinate a lot with the Bureau of Reclamation, which is one of the actual big challenges of being on the Irrigation District. We don't always agree with them <laughs> as to how certain things should go, in particular, some interpretation of some legal issues. Jerry recalls a time when the Bureau made a decision that would have severely impacted the local farmers, which required some quick, creative, and practical decision-making on his behalf. In 2018, we were, the, the Bureau of Reclamation was actually under a court order as to how they had to operate the project and allow water to be delivered. And it, there were going to be substantial shortages. And there was some federal funding identified that could be used to mitigate the damage to people who didn't get water. Essentially, we had to create a brand new public entity with its own board of directors, which I am on, to be able to be like an intermediary between the federal government and the private landowners, the farmers who eventually got compensated for being without water. And As you might suspect with anyone who dedicates themselves to serving people and to walking with them through good times and bad, Jerry is motivated by the desire to give back to his community. Since my family has been served by Klamath Irrigation District for a hundred years, that oh. my great-grandparents were here when the Reclamation Act passed and, and they started the project. It's, it was about time that one of us stepped up and, and gave our time to helping run the organization. Between 2019 and 2020, Jerry donated over 1,040 hours toward improving the district, the community, and the region. And that attitude of generosity and desire to help others goes beyond his commitment to the irrigation district. It even spills over to his hobbies. One of my passions is hiking, and a lot of times I combine that with trail maintenance because I got tired of being on trails that were falling apart and deteriorating because of lack of maintenance, in particular getting water to drain off of them. So I just started, well, at first I started just carrying a shovel when I hiked so I could fix the drainage features that were failing and eventually that led to becoming a formal volunteer and became involved with the Klamath Trails Alliance who maintain and build trails in the Klamath Falls area. For Jerry, the reason to give back to your community, the reason to dedicate yourself to this type of service is simple. What would happen if you didn't choose to give back? It all boils down to, with me, 
the knowledge of how how serious the consequences could be if we fumble the ball because we don't have the knowledge of what we're working with.